Hello everybody. Really hot day uh, in western New York and southern Ontario, so I thought I'd do a little diving. I wanted to see how the smallmouth bass population was holding up. The water time's up to 78 degrees, and it could cause some problems in the system when it gets that warm. Pleased to report there's not a big algae bloom. The water's nice and clear. Beautiful diving, really. Beautiful diving conditions. Uh, I kind of wanted to look at the condition of the bass because the warm temps can cause them a lot of problems at times uh, with parasites and such. A lot of the fish had uh, the, the little black spots caused by the worms. It's really common in smallmouth bass always. And uh, I didn't think it was any larger of a problem with the warm temps. You see some scrape marks on the side of the fish. That's where they try to relieve themselves from the itch of the parasites on the rocks. I've seen them do it. I couldn't catch any of them do it today, though, unfortunately. Uh, I saw a couple fish with uh, visible sores, but only a couple. I probably saw, numbers-wise, you probably saw about 35. Uh, maybe I would hope to see 50 in a good year, but still saw solid numbers. Um, you see a couple in this video with mouth issues, could be from catch and release, uh, a feisty crayfish, or something else. I uh, saw one with an external worm at the base of the tail, a little white worm about three quarters of an inch long. Uh, I saw one with uh, melanin hyperpigmentation, that's where you see the uh, black spots on a fish or little black areas on a fish. It's uh, you're seeing more of it lately, and it's thought to be a problem, but nobody can really tell exactly what causes it or or whatever. You know, they don't they don't really know. They're still studying it. So, well, I'm not going to talk over the whole thing. I'll put on a little music here and let you check out the fish for yourself. Thanks for watching.